second video of the day. I want to try to get it out by midnight. Um, this one's from the archive too. You can tell by that jersey that I've worn in the last couple archive videos. It's from May. May 2017. Uh, let's look at this table. We have a good view of the table. There's the one there's the two hiding down here in this corner. There's the three along the same rail, but that that's up about three and a half, three, three and a half inches. And then the four is right there next to it. This shouldn't be a problem. The five, I don't see a problem there. Not much of a problem. Uh, six is down here. We need to come up short on the six so we can draw back up on the eight with a chance of making this nine ball in this rack off a uh, billiard. Eight's down here, center. Seven to the eight looks like it's going to be the issue. Let's roll it. I don't know what I was doing right there, but I was doing something. Uh, this is an interesting subject. Look at look how long the bridge is. Um, also, one of the kind of weird things in my game is that I'll make a solid closed bridge on top of the rail. Um, it just feels more secure to me. I've, I've never been one to shoot off the rail with, you know, your hand plastered down on top of the stick. You know, you, you open up your two fingers and let the cue slide. I, 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 I've never been one to do that. And I know that's popular on the bar tables. I just, I just don't do it. Everybody has kind of little quirks in their game. Yeah, that's a long bridge. And this looks like a straight in stop shot. And it really doesn't matter if I roll a little bit forward or come back a little bit because the five sit or the two is sitting right in front of the pocket, and the three is easy enough to get on. Four, four is probably going to be a two rail or bounce out somewhere center of the table, except for that side. The six is just a, you know a bounce off the rail and come down to this position here. Let's throw it. Just good stroke on that ball. Uh, there's a couple ways you can play this. You can come out the center of the table on the three and bounce off this rail to come out a little bit on the four. That's kind of dangerous because of this eight ball. You don't want to roll down too much and get snookered behind the eight. Um, it's best to stay close to this rail and just shoot it with a little bit of top to roll up and uh Try to keep an angle to come out on this four ball. And my stroke was all over the place on that shot, but um, that's what I was trying to do. But I can't tell if I'm straight in. If I'm straight in on here, it's just a matter of rolling down a couple inches and uh, doing this two rail or back out like this and shooting the four in this corner. If I'm not straight in and I have an angle here, it's hard to tell with this camera angle. If I can, if I can draw back a little bit and out, um, it's this two railer. Either way, it's going to be a two railer, and um, it, this is that vital two railer, uh, you guys. I hope you've been working on because it constantly, constantly, constantly comes up, and people, people miss them. Um, if they've been playing pool for under five years. Um, it's easy to not even think about these because 
we tend to put this shot off. But let's just, let's cross the bridge when we get to it. Yeah, see, I had I had a little bit of an angle here, and that was a stop shot that's that wasn't exactly a stop shot. It's called a stun shot, but it's the same concept. But because of the angle, the cue ball rolls out for a shot on the four. So this is a thin cut two railer in this corner, and using these two rails here, come out for the five. No big deal. And hopefully I've caught a little bit of an angle on the five to where I can pull out um, for a shot getting low on the six and I can draw back great on that seven again with the chance to make this nine ball. And from the eight to the nine, you know, it's funny because it almost doesn't matter. You just don't want to get on the 50 yard line. Like if you got right here on the eight. Um, you can still get on the nine without a problem, but you're gonna. It's you have to go through a hard shot on the eight to get on that nine. So uh, it's best to use a line. Look at the line out of the pocket from the eight ball and extend that. And well, if you're shooting for the angle to get back on the nine, it's actually you're coming off this rail here. So the objective is to get a bit of an angle on the seven and either draw up off this rail and, and hit, get on that line for the eight or you still need an angle and come down for the same line. Again, let's cross the bridge when we get to it, but it, it's, you always need a plan. You always need, you have to be a fortune teller. You have to kind of see the future to be a good pool player. You have to know what's coming, and you have to have, I, I did that very well. That's the exact angle I need on the six, and this is a draw shot, but it can't, I mean, it can draw back if you put a ton of draw on it. I can come back to here, but you're kind of pushing forward why you're drawing back and it's coming up that way. If you just put center ball here, it's going to hit the seven, so you have to draw it a little bit off that angle to come up to here. Actually, you don't want to get straight on in straight in on this seven. You still need an angle to get on this eight, so this is a key shot here. You need this angle. And we actually hit the nine. We, we got a perfect angle. Now here's here's a question every pool player faces. And because of this, this line on this eight is the same, whether we draw it back to here or we push forward two rails, to here it's the same line so you can get on that line by either drawing the cue ball or following the cue ball putting top on the cue ball or putting bottom so it's your call so what do you do if you're confident in both shots um, the big question is which way should you go and it's kind of a personal call but there is there is a, a key issue here that that you should think about before making that final decision. And I'm choosing to draw this. And uh, it's a bad idea. A better idea is to, to put follow on that ball, put top on it. Uh, and, and the whole reason is if you draw it, you're taking a chance on going a little bit too long. You know, you want to hit, hit right here and bounce out for this A. And I, I know this. This is why I'm hanging my head. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm thinking, John, you know this. Why did you do that? Um, the answer to your question is you should follow this ball because you're not coming anywhere near a pocket. So you're taking absolutely no chance 
of scratching if you follow it. You're taking a chance of scratching if you draw it. So the answer is to follow that ball. So um, not only did we almost scratch, but we stopped the cue ball right there at the pocket when it would have helped a little bit to get that. It looks like I'm straight in. It would have helped a little bit not to have all this distance here. Um, you remember the rule here on these shots is just keep the basics, stay down, keep a straight stroke, take a deep breath, all that stuff. Just keep your cool here. And that looks like I did have an angle there. And this is just a poke in the side and, and there's another video. So when you don't know if you should draw it or follow it because you're going to be getting on the same line either way. Um, do the way that avoids things like scratching, hitting another ball. Um, what else? Yep, well, I guess that's about it. You don't want to hit another ball. You don't want to scratch. So go the way that that just eliminates that from the picture. And there's your answer to draw or to follow. To follow or to draw. I think that's going to be the title of this video. And there's another one for you guys. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I'm sure you learned something there. And that's the objective. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep learning. Keep practicing. Keep setting up those balls that uh, you're really not sure about or you're struggling with. And that's the key. Don't, don't just blow it off and say it'll get better because it's not going to get better. Um, in fact, it, it's probably going to get worse because you, every time it comes up, you're going to struggle with it. So fix it. Take some time. Uh, it, whether you play league or go out with your buddies and play or, um, or you're matching up with great players, but you, you're not, you have to take the time for yourself to set balls up. And you have to remember what you're struggling with, too. And if you have to take a notepad with you, um, make notes while you're playing that you need to work on this now. Not, not as soon as possible now. you, you got to take care of it, guys. If you really want to be a player, um, it, it takes work. Anyway, that's my, my preaching session is over. I'm going to pass around my plate. And you can drop a dollar in it or five dollars. Or Benjamin. And hey, thanks, guys. I'm done. Peace.